Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the buying pop up function so that you could click onto the markers on your map and have specific data relating to your JSON file appear on the map. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, guys, for the bind pop-up, um, I'm just going to quickly review the data I have for this demonstration. I'll put a link in the description below as well as above for a video I did about adding GeoJSON data to your leaflet map. So I have a JavaScript file here. It's just a couple random locations. So I have my source code right up here that's pointed to my choice locations file right here. And then down below, I have my LGOJSON. It's calling out to that choice locations uh, file and it's adding to map. So if I were to run this, here are those random points. So right now, if I click onto these markers, nothing happens. I want it to have a pop up and call out some specific attribute information relating to this data. So to do that, let's go ahead and Right after the name of my file, I'm going to put a comma. And we're going to say on each feature function feature layer. Okay. And then we're going to say the layer find pop up feature uh, properties choice. Now choice, this is a field I have in my attribute table. And this data, I'll show you here real quick. I have my choices being first, second, third, fourth, fifth, just, just, just demo data. So I'm going to call out features, property, and then choice. Feature, properties, and choice. So when I do that, I save that, and I refresh my map, scroll in. So when I click onto it, I can see my choice name, first, second, third, fourth, etc. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.